wish there wasn't so much delay between, you know, between what I'm doing and, and so forth. And But, uh-oh, can't see anything. That's not good. Huh, that is weird how that works. Okay, I think that's already going to work. Alright, so yeah, that works. Okay, so if anyone's here with me, I see there's two, two viewers. I think one of them counts as myself. So, hey, welcome. Welcome, good morning. Or good afternoon if you're on the other side of the world. So... You know, just like we did a couple days ago, we're going to be streaming a little bit of what we're doing on the map editor. Um, I, I'm sorry if it got a little, little, um, little wonky there to get that that start going, but uh, you know, I, I think it works. Let me move this over here. I think it'll be a little better. And then I have, let's see, okay, this is good. And let's get a let's get a link going for for folks to you know to share around. Hold on, give me a quick second. Quick sec. Mm, yes, that. No, I want a link. Please. Excellent. A link. Okay, so we're going to share it over here. Link here to, us to a live stream with me. Okay, so there's that one, and maybe I should post one on the forum, you know, just just in case anyone sees it there, you know? So, good morning, everybody. Again, if you're just joining here, we're going to be doing a live stream of the progress that we're doing on the Sierra Nevada map for ATS. Um, I'm Raul. Uh, usually, sometimes Evelyn uses his channel, so that's why I find it always important to say who, hey, who's who, right? All right. Hey, folks. I'll be live streaming um, a little progress on the map editor here. And let's uh, see you there. Oh no, I just saved. I don't need it to save there. <laughs> All right, and submit. Yeah. All right, so that's that. So let me go back to this one, and Daniel and Sam, hey, w welcome, welcome, good morning. Okay, so, or good afternoon. I'm not sure where you are, but, um, but hey, good day. Let's just say good day, right? All right, so we're still here in the Winnemucca, Nevada area. Um, a couple of days ago, I was working around this part, and, you know, I kind of talked with Eblem a little bit about what we were going to do. Um, so I'm going to really just focus a lot on, on this freeway here that, you know, that's the town of Winnemucca and this kind of just bypasses it. Um, a lot of this, like, it looks like it was done, but most of it was just placeholder just to know where things go. So I still got to move around a lot, you know, the heights and all you could see this is a little weird. So we're going to be playing around a lot with that today. Um, and hopefully we'll see how much, how much we can actually get done. Right. Um, let me see. And just to give you a little heads up of what it is in, in real life. Um, so more or less this little section of Interstate 80 right here. And one of the highlights, I think, here to make it more recognizable is this part where, you know, the um, US 95 that goes up to um, up into Idaho crosses this, this little river here and the freeway is elevated in that section, which this is supposed to be uh, this part. So... We'll see how that turns out. Um, I've already started moving things around here. But like I said, this is so whip, so work in progress. We'll, you know, you'll start making he um, sense out of it in a bit. Roberto, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Um, so, let, without further ado, I say like, we go for it. So, okay. So, and by the way, if, uh, I want to delete these. It's because they were already here and I just want to start from mostly scratch. Um, by the way, if you're here, if you hear music in the background, you shouldn't be. <laughs> I, I wanted to put some music on this in the background, but I was a little afraid of, you know, copyright stuff. And 
I'm not um I'm not monetizing these videos, but I still think that some music companies will still get a little salty if we put music on in the background of these. So I don't, I'm listening to it myself to have something going in the background, uh, but I don't want to put it, you know, public. I'm, I'm, I mean, if you like metal, <laughs> go listen to it yourself. But that's, that's what I'm listening more or less to, but um, you know, to each your own. Hey, Flight, welcome, welcome. Where am I? I am in Winnemucca, Nevada. Working on this area, I'm, I'm going to be working on the freeway right here. Um, so I say let's go. Let's start. I might not be so tutorially this time as I was on a couple of days ago as I need to start actually doing things. <laughs> but either way, if you see I'm doing something and you want to know what it is that I'm doing or how it is that I'm doing, by all means, go ahead and ask me on, on the comments and I will walk you through it. I have no problem with it. Okay, so this, I want to see if one of the, the ne old Nevada bridges works for that. We're not Nevada, but Arizona, I think, are the ones. So I want z zero. Does that look kind of okay for this? I think, let me see, what else do they have? Oh, this is the that model. That model might actually work here, because I don't want it to be too too thick yeah that one would work i mean it's not exact I'm, it looks i mean that's what what i'm trying to replicate but i want it to look like that sandstony color that they use a lot in the desert southwest namely arizona and, and and nevada so i mean it's supposed to have that little railing on top but i but i don't won't have that yeah but that works that's i think that's more than okay We'll do that. And then what you could do when you do that kind of stuff, you could grab this, open the properties, set as default, and then go on to the other one and put use as default. And it just copies over the settings here. And all productions, hey, welcome, welcome, morning. Okay, so that looks more or less okay. Height-wise, you have these little things here to be able to measure how high this is. Um, SES does include like little trucks that you could use like as a placeholder just to see how high they are. Um, I mean, there's these. They have these measuring ones. Measure big trick. Uh, is this new? I don't remember seeing this one. It might not be new. I might just be blind. So, and that's how you know, like, oh yeah, it fits, right? Because then you start getting all those big heavy loads, and yeah, you, you know, we don't have, we don't want to have trouble with that. Then some folks are going to be like, "It doesn't my truck that can't go under the bridge," and then we'll be screwed. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, so there's that. Uh, I want to make sure these are perfectly flat. I don't want to have any weird inconsistencies. How's oh man? Um, so a, if some of this looks kind of familiar, actually. A lot of this was copied over from, and you'll see it here, from a town in New Mexico. I forget which one it is. I um, wonder if Feeblem is here. Here, I should tell him if to join or something. Here. Uh, where is he? Ando. It's okay. Um... So, oh yeah, so I forget, I think this is, no, it's not Alamogordo. I don't remember what town it is. I, I might say some around here, though. Yeah, you, you could see all of the stuff, yeah. Ah, Socorro, okay, okay. So, it, it, he j did just grab Socorro because it like kind of really, really fit here, Winnemucca. But we're still, we're still going to be, you know, changing a lot of things up. Um, it's still not exactly the same, right? Um, like, especially this part, you know, the more noticeable parts. Um, and now, yeah, we, we just saw it was Socorro, you're right. Um, and Eblem, hey, welcome. Jo um, thanks for joining. So, uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, a lot of things might be a little weird with the height. I want to kind of make sure that everything's the same height. So, I'm just going to be copying this. I'm going to be putting zero. And then these right here. Oh, that's going to probably screw that up. So, then we'll just grab these. Pitch zero, so it's perfectly flat. I don't want to have weird heights right now with this stuff. 
Later on, we'll come and fix. Oh, no, these are fine. Okay. Same over here. All right. So. Ooh. Okay, no, it's just by a couple, couple little. Uh, I, need, I think I need to do that again. Yeah. Okay. So now it's all flat. Um, you know, and when you do that, we might have to later on fix this, but that's okay. I might end up doing something completely different to up here though, so that's fine. So that's flat. Now we can focus on heights here because I want to make sure this doesn't look wrong. And it helps to be like looking down at the height of like where you're driving just to see how this looks. Mm, I might want to make this slightly higher pi pitch. Okay, that looks a little better. A little more uniform. How does this look? No, yeah, that looks good. I think that's okay. So the drive quality is, you know, as it should be. Yeah, that's fine. How, how's this side doing? Mm, can't notice much of a difference here, but... I like how this part looks, though. Oh, no, I do see a difference. Okay, so maybe I could pu pull this up to, like, negative 1.2, just like I did with the other one. So that it kind of moves the angle. And it looks a little more uniform. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, that's how I play around with these. So that's, that part's done. At least, I, I'm just doing, like, um, you know, the actual uh, road geometry right now. So don't worry about anything else. And this part, this part goes down like that, so I might be able to get away with doing maybe like minus one. Okay, whatever. And then be here, you know, I might just want to wait, because then that might mess up. Okay. So I want to make sure that's free rotation. Yes, 76. There should not be a roll on this. Yeah, see, there's still a lot to, to, to mess around with this. So, and then I should probably match these. Something like that. Uh, okay, so I'll copy. If you press here, you copy these little parameters here. So I'm going to delete that. Grab this one because it's gonna it's gonna change, I think. Oh no, let's say the same. Okay, cool. cool. And let me just make sure that connection worked. Okay, good. And again, if there's something that I'm doing that you're not sure of how I'm doing it, let me know and I'll stop to explain it a little bit more. So I have no problem with that. Okay, so let me get to this one. No rotation, cool. Okay, I mean, I copied this. There we go, just in case. Because sometimes when you do that kind of stuff, your your node rotation changes. Like, you know, the pitch and um, the, you know, what what do they call it? The roll and the yaw and all that stuff. By the way, yaw changes that. Um, pitch, if you see me moving pitch, that changes like the, you know, what the change in height is. And roll changes, I mean, how, like, the banking of the, of the, you know, like that, right? So. Hunter. Hey, what's up, Hunter? Uh, I have this issue in 1.36 OB. When you select quick jobs, some of the cities have a box on them with these weird numbers, like 12,400. Ooh, no, I haven't seen that. I, I haven't played in the latest open beta, though. I might not be aware of this. Um, so that might just be it. I, I played on, I played on open beta. I mean, I did uh, two streams ago. I, I did, um, which was in last week, and I think it was, and I didn't see any issue like that. So that's weird. Maybe a good one to go put a um, a bug post. Just make sure you don't have any mods, and that's part of the reason why I usually don't go and post bugs whenever I play because I have mods on, so it doesn't really help SES. But I mean, we're we're mod creators ourselves, so <laughs> it kinda, it's kind of why. 
All right, so so that works kind of. Maybe what I put. Let's put one. Oh, free retention is not on. What? Okay. Oh, it must have been on this one. Yeah, so you're running mods, Hunter. So that's always a a big issue when it comes to like, oh, if you have any bugs with open betas. Um, yeah, I do recommend you try it without mods for sure. Okay, that looks... It could be a little better. Maybe put in 25. Because this, this looks about fine. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. The, the devil's in the details here. Alright, so. Then this 1.25 as well. We want to make sure these heights match. So this is the height right here. 74.10. Yeah, I thought it would. 74.10. Oh, right. I know why it's not going to do it. So this one. There we go. Now it looks a little more uniform. How does this look? Yeah, it, that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. So, let me make sure this looks okay. And I do this a lot. I like just kind of like drive through it just to see how, you know, elevation wise, how it all looks. But it looks good here. This is mostly done, by the way. This is on our, here, I should put on the mini map. Um, this is on our way up um, west towards um, Fallen and Reno. Okay, so Hunter, yeah, that's that's that's, that's I've like I said I've never seen that issue. Definitely a weird one. What's going on here? Oh, we don't need this. Trim the fat. Okay, so this bridge, I remember seeing this bridge did have a you know a pretty thick deck. Here, let's go take a look. So I think that's the right model to use here. Let's double check. So they're using steel beams, but we don't have anything this thick. I think SCS really needs to add more normal bridges, more normal bridge options. Let me say that. Explosion651 says, hey, Raul, what are your thoughts on the SLC blog, specifically the mounds behind the, <laughs> the city? So, oh, message. No. Uh, so... Eblem and I actually had a pretty interesting discussion about it yesterday. He is in complete disapproval of how those mountains look. Um, and I think folks out on the, on, on the, here, let me bring this over here. On the forums kind of brought up a good point over here um, in the Utah discussion thread. I mean, yeah, so this was flight, so yeah. <laughs> this kind of tells you a little bit about it. I thought it was okay, just based on one of the photos. But now that I'm seeing this screenshot again, this comparison that Flight is making is really good. Yeah, Flight, exactly. You're absolutely right. So I I, I think the um, they could have done a much better job with the mountains. And Evelyn yesterday brought up a good point to me. Um, he was saying that they should have used the ones in... Was it... Oh, Bishop. So the ones we put in Bishop, at least. Something like these. But the problem is, it, they do have snow. So maybe they just need, um, you know, a new texturing or something. But something like this in the background may have looked a little better, I think. And this isn't our, our custom models. These are in the game. They could have used something similar to this, and I think it would have looked a little better. Um... Uh, the city itself looks really good. I, I like the, the way they're, you know, that the way that their skyline of the city looks is fantastic. Um, I do have a couple issues with the actual freeway. They're really minor details, so I, I wouldn't, I didn't want to put anything about it. Here, let's, uh, SCS blog. Um, so, like, for example... These double barriers here in the middle always bug me. And I know why they're doing it, but I, I don't know. I feel they could have done a little better. 
or like this looks a little too high it should be flush with the with the barrier just just little mi minor details um nothing game changing sorry yeah not, nothing really game changing or like here they did something similar what we've done um i guess i could go back to reno what we've done in those situations because you are supposed to cover that up um you don't want any obstructions in the middle of a freeway, like from a from a signpost or anything. Um, and I've done this a lot in Sacramento and in Reno. I mean, here here I had to, but because of these bridges here. But let me see if I could find a good example. So here's what I did. You know, the the actual middle barrier kind of curbs and always you know goes on to the side where a car could actually hit the edge of, of of this so since here like cars are coming from the background to us there's no way they're going to hit this in a, in a forward collision you know they're coming from this side so that's why you put this barrier to the right uh, on this side because that's where cars could hit that little barrier right there and the same applies to these so i've seen this in real life um not too much i mean nowadays you'll see like they'll actually make the barrier wider. So maybe SCS just needs to make an actual model for, for these kinds of situations. Um, but I mean, since we don't have it, I just do this and I think it works out because I've seen it in real life in Los Angeles to be exact. Um, you keep it safe to standards in real life. And I think it looks a little better in my opinion. Um, don't know if if a normal person that doesn't know much about this would think that's a, that's a little weird. Um, could be. But again, there's such minor details that, I mean, they're getting ready to release the map. So I was like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> uh, I just hope they improve. Or, you know, you could also use this barrier model, which I don't like using too much. Because there is no way, you know, they would waste so much concrete doing this wide of a barrier. Except for right around where the, these posts are. Um, but, you know, what, whatever. Um, what else did I see in these pictures? That looks really cool. I saw that. I was like, wow, <laughs> I've seen those. Um, yeah, you have something similar here. It's like, I don't know this. You don't, you wouldn't see this. They'd, they would rather give more space to the left shoulder, which is, you know, oh, adds to safety, um, instead of keeping these two barriers like this. Um, is, was there anything else here? Not really. It, oh, oops. This is a great looking you know, screenshot. I love how this looks. Um, yeah, no, I, I think everything else looks good. I'm, I'm personally, you know, fascinated by that. The little, little um, birds look cool in the background. But, um, yeah, I've got nothing else to add. Yeah, the signage is great. I mean, I've, I have no qualms with the signage. I th the road signs are fantastic. Maybe, okay, this one, this little thing right here is too short. That have, has always bugged me. Um, they are, let me see if I could find one. So, well, these are our custom ones, but like, if I bring it up. And I see they've slowly been trying to fix those as well. They they know they, they messed up. Because <laughs> uh, like, these are brand new with, with um, what are they called? Um, these are brand new with Utah, so, oh wait, there's some new ones here, I don't remember seeing this one, or was it already here, it could be, um, so, like, for example, let me, let me put this one down, and then let's put the old one down, yeah, so, these are way too short. I don't know what the heck they were thinking, um, which is exactly the same one that we saw in, in, in this picture right here. They need to change those. Um, this looks good. This looks perfect. But there aren't that many of them. Like, they made for a couple situations or, like, for, like, these, you know, these setups, but that's about it. You know, let me see if I can find more. Okay, there, there's these. Hell, they could have used this one there, and I think it would have looked better. Oh, it doesn't have the cardinal direction, though. Do they have one for that? They... They do! Why didn't they use it? 
Yeah, I feel some of these are new. I don't remember seeing some of these. This is great. These are fantastic. They gotta replace everything with these. Hell, even we gotta replace them. Because we have a version of our of our own. Here, let me place this one down. Okay. So we have a version of our own. But they're they could be a little buggy sometimes. they I don't like them that much. So like that one is this one. I mean, they're okay. They're pretty good. They're not too bad. But I'd rather stick to the SES ones if the SES ones look good. Um, of course, you, you can add this thing, right? Oh. But, like, if I get closer to these, yeah, they're a little off, right? But it, it gets the job done, at least. The only thing with the ones that SES has is that I, I feel SES has failed to notice that the three letter three number road um well roots are wider they actually use a wider um a wider shield so you got to make two separate versions of it one that's oh, one that's wider than the other you see you see what i mean so i think they're just missing that at this point but it's a definitely a good good step in the right direction um Aiden, did you edit the electronic sign since they are edible? I sure did. Um, some of these, I think, here are turned off. But, let's see, yeah, these are turned off. But if I go to Reno, no, I am in Reno. If I go to Sacramento, where am I? Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, <laughs> I put the, these kinds of things. You see this in real life, by the way. Some states are pros at that kind of messages. Or this, watch for stop vehicles in the, on interchange. And the reason I put that is because you know how the AI could be a little weird on some little, you know, on, on the merges and stuff. That's why I put that. Or like this one, this is classic California. Click it or ticket. I don't know if they still use it, but... I mean, I, I remember growing up and seeing that all the time. And, and then you have states like Arizona, where they do a lot of pop culture references with these signs. Oh, this one's turned off. Yeah, because you see them turned off and, or on and, you know, just, just has a little realism. All right, let's, let's, let's get back to work. Okay, work. Okay, so I said this was done. This is a little too big, in my opinion. This is weird. But I guess... How did they do... Did, did Eblem just copy this from somewhere else, or did he make it? No, honestly, I want to remake it. Sorry. I want to start from scratch. What are these? Ah. Yeah, start from scratch. Like sometimes you, you're just so busy moving around things that you kind of lose track of what you have. Or even like, you know, could leave something uh, floating on accident that I just prefer starting from scratch on most things. I don't like, you know, just, oh, I see where he copied this from, actually. <laughs> um, NL Productions, Illinois, my home state, once made electronic signs which poked fun at the Chicago Cubs for only winning once one World Series in the last few years when they should have won more. Yeah, the, it, it it's a common thing that the Department of Transportation do. Uh, just... I love some of the ones that I, I've seen here. Like, for example, when whenever they release a new Star Wars film, um, they'll usually use, um, you know, things from 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 Star Wars, or um, or when an artist comes over. Um, I forget I forgot who came over not too long ago. They did something like that, um, but they they tend to be pretty fun. Oh, by the way, I saw someone comment that a, a certain bridge looks low. Uh, I think it was Hunter. Which bridge was it?
okay so so here um, we have these um, these sidewalks we don't need sidewalks here who walks here this is America nobody walks in America I wish that weren't true walking is nice that's what I miss about Mexico you could walk to your corner store and it was nice okay that's fine if you can't win four championships, you shouldn't drink and drive. Careful with what you say, because they might as well just go win four championships and then feel they're exempt from that rule. Um, here, we should use this one. Make it concrete. Oh, and then, Eblem, I see sometimes you do this, so, so hey, watch this. Um, even though your shoulder is zero... Um, oh... That's okay. So how do I remove that? I know why. Because you shouldn't use this one. For the bridges, you should use this one. Okay, no. Which one is it? So that I don't want there to be a dirt. Because when when the editor talks about shoulders, they usually mean like the dirt on the side of the road. So, cause like I put one meter, and you can see a little extruding dirt there, which I don't want. Which one is it? City one. There we go. So city one shoulder. That one works good. So you just leave this with none, because if you put shoulder, then you get that dirt again, which we don't want. Perfect. Okay. These no me gustan. Not good. And now, um, I'm just going to move this for now, like that, because, I mean, they're wide, but not that wide. That one is a little bit. But I always find that it looks weird. Uh-oh, no, no, not on top. Ooh, this looks cool, though. Uh, Sam B says, during Thanksgiving, one of the signs said, mashed potatoes, not your head. <laughs> Don't text and drive on the Superstition Freeway. Okay, right. I mean, we see those kinds all the time, right? And by the way, it's, they're not usually just on one freeway. If you see them on one freeway, they're pretty much everywhere. Darn it, I keep going to the wrong one. Come on, come on, you could do this. A little better. So yeah, this one has less space than that one. I think it's going to look... I don't have to make it, maybe push it so close to it, but... Como por ahí. And then this one... Maybe like that, because, yeah, you got to leave a little bit of space there. A little space there. And now this thing... Yeah, this thing is weird. So... Let me put back my measuring stick, or just, you know, you, the other thing you could do, 66, that's the height, so just pretty much add 9. So, oh wow, 72, let's make this 0. Yeah, that's why you got to be <laughs> careful with these sometimes. Oh, wait, no. What was it? 67. Oh, what the heck? 70 66 sets oh it should be 75 my bad so 75 why isn't it doing it oh i know why of course seventy five okay that might be a little too low. So let's bring over the the old measuring stick. This one. Yeah, that is way too low. So the other thing we could do is just grab these. So if you want to be perfectly clear, 
go like on top of the seven, you could go like down to like six and it'll still make it, but it's it's a little tight. So maybe right around there. Okay, then let's make sure this is Okay, so this one's even higher actually. But that's good. That's okay. I'm not gonna stress about that. Then how does this look? Okay, that looks pretty straight. Yeah, that's okay. This is a little long, but I don't care. I'm okay with that. This is very long. But again, it's a highway. I'm not going to worry about that. That's fine. I've, I've seen that before. Okay. Next stop. Let's, uh... Oh, you know which one I'm not going to use here? So... Let's bring up the models. If you type bridge, bring this a little more like that. You get a lot of bridge models here. Co. Oh crap! Was this here before? I recognize these. E flight is gonna be excited about this. <laughs> I know where this is from. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got this. Why did I close maps? E. Oh, I hope I'm right. Oh, yeah, you know where I'm going with this. I don't remember exactly which part, but one of these. Oh, this is... A, okay, that's not the part. Come on, you can find it. No, but I think I'm absolutely correct. I knew I'd recognize that. Damn, I'm a nerd. Here? Darn it, no. Maybe more over here? That totally is a model. <laughs> so, confirmed. SCS is working on Gladwood Canyon. <laughs> I hope I'm the first one to find this out. That'd be so hilarious. And if not, I feel like a total dumbass for never noticing it. But Glenwood Canyon, Interstate 70, Colorado, confirmed. It probably is going to come after Idaho. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet on it now. That is so funny. Let's see if I can find something better. Because there's a part that's really tall. I wonder if it's this one. Flight, did you know about this? Am I the dummy that didn't know? Yeah, that totally is the same model. Yeah! <laughs> now that just begs the question, did they already release bridge models for it? I mean, how would they do it? They wouldn't do it with this. Well, CO. Oh, that's not going to help. Well, I know we've been... I mean, I would have bet before um, that uh, Colorado came after Idaho. It, you know, it only makes sense. But, but now that we see something physical... In the map editor, I, I think it just confirms it even more. I mean, it tells us that somebody at SCS is working on it right now. As we well, during this time, there's the, the development period is there, right? They're actually they're, they're within the development. Um, which team is it? I don't know. Maybe maybe the the Utah team just moved on over to, to Colorado, right? It could just be that. GG Pillar. Oh, Golden Gate probably. Um. How else would I be able to find this? Let's see. Would it be um, a railing? Let's see. Oh. Doesn't look like it. That's funny that I found this, though. Yeah, it's definitely a great sign. It's that, that's, that's funny. As a matter of fact, I feel 
I feel like we should post this on the forums. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, here. Uh, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do... <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Here, let's... Yeah, like that. So that people recognize where we are. Okay, so now... And we send it on over to Imger or Imger, whatever it is. Yes. And let's go ahead and post it on over here. Where, where, where should this go? ATS teasers? 1.37? Flight, where do you think that we should post this? This this is this is interesting. People gotta know. This is exciting. I'm I'm so looking forward to I-70 all the way to the Colorado. I loved that drive in real life. It was so so cool. Like I almost feel like going back there just for that drive. I won't anytime soon though. But yeah, let me know where I should post this. I'm not too sure. I think so. I think you might know a little more. But okay, I have it there. So it's just a matter of getting that and put it in somewhere. So. Anyway, that's enough excitement for now. <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> okay, so back to bridge. And I'm pretty darn sure they released this very recently because I use the, the, the bridge search option very frequently. Um, so I, I've think I would have noticed before <laughs> but if I didn't you know it could be I'm, I'm nowhere near perfect it's okay so we're gonna use that one and then here with this one and uh, we want some um, emblem again because I've seen this you might want to pay attention to how I do this a little bit um, and then I'm just kind of probably gonna do this here two one two that's fine and then just grab this one, grab the rotation, paste it on here. Nice. Flight says, honestly, I have no idea, lol. It should go in the Colorado discussion thread, but it doesn't exist set yet. You could do it to my next state thread. Is there a state next? I haven't seen it. Next. Oh, the, the choose the states you want to see next. Is that the one you're talking about, Flight? I mean, it could be. All right. I'll, I'll let you respond in a bit. I just hate the lag in this thing. If, if, if there's a way to make it so that it doesn't lag so much. Oh, in your signature. Okay, so it is the one that, you know, the one I'm on right now. Okay, so we'll put it on here. Folks, not sure if anyone has noticed this yet, but someone is working already on Glenwood Canyon. I think this mostly confirms Colorado is coming after Idaho. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Idaho is coming first. And Flight, you've said it yourself too. I'm. I think it's it's pretty obvious. It, it would make most sense as well. I think. Um. Oh, and I gotta put. Oh, well, I think I gotta open it here. Uh. Like that.
Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, maybe just check the name of this model on the map editor. Sweet. That's fun. That's that's a lot of fun. I'm so glad we found that out. And it's live too. <laughs> All right, so the more we know, and and this this place is so awesome. I I wish I could have gotten some good photos of it. We, we we didn't really take much photos like on the road here. Um, I think Eblem did though. Actually, on his phone, he probably does have some good photos on this. Um, I know I don't. <laughs> um, but I was driving, and that's what's important. Okay, back to this. Okay. That looks okay. Could be better. The, these bridges weren't designed to have these models here, but... But it works out, I think. Yeah, whatever. Then here, oh, well, we'll have to just do the reverse. Then here we just grab the 212 version. There we go. So that way you don't have to be scaling anything. It should work already. I just feel maybe... Is it okay? Yeah, it's good. Okay, that's fine. And then over here, okay, so they added those right there. Yeah, maybe it should be a little more separate. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, so this isn't very well rotated. So what is this? 94, 18, and this should be zero. Okay, so gotta bust a, oh, I didn't bring the calculator. Oh, whatever. So here, I'll bring it over here so people can see. Four, 18. So then this one should be that. There we go. Yeah, that's how exact we are here. Gotta love our math. We're real engineers. Uh, Fezzi says, Texas after Colorado then, my guess. Uh, I don't think that confirms anything for Texas. Do do I think it would make absolute sense to have Texas after, after Colorado? Oh yeah, I do. I do. I definitely do. But I don't think we have enough to say right off the bat that yes except for the fact that i think it was pavel that said that there is already someone doing pre-work in in texas so you know who, who, that looks maybe this one could be a little more that way so who knows could be could very well be super sobs hello and welcome well we got we got it's a, quite a good number of people here i feel i should be doing something more <laughs> All right, so there's that bridge. Um, now, yeah, so, so it has those little... So those are so that people don't fall off the bridge or don't jump off the bridge. I believe Wyoming or Montana... Yeah, I think it would be a little more realistic for them to do those states. But the only reason I think it would make a little more sense to have Texas is just to get on more east. Because, you know, you just cover more more people's favorite lands. Um, fence. So we gotta use this one's the one that's rounded. So it's fence middle bridge. This is a model that they did did back for California, but it works. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this model. Okay, that works. And then we'll do it like that. And then over here we do the same thing, but reverse. You you know because otherwise that the model will be facing the wrong way. And then something like that. Maybe this one should be a little more inside. There we go. 
A lot of fine detailing here. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this until I finish everything around. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably right. Oh well. If I mess up, you guys will be you will be here to to laugh at me. That's reassuring. And then we grab all four points and we just lift it up. How does that look? Could be a little higher, but honestly, that's okay. Well, hold on. Yeah, because it has the little things in the bottom. That's good. Uh, this one could probably be a little more this way. There we go. That's cool. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, that's a good song in the background. All right. Um... Flight says, I hope they box up the map as much as possible for Texas. Yeah, I would agree with that. that that's kind of why what, what Eblem says about um, about uh, Wyoming or Montana would absolutely make sense. Um, and I, I would hope that they're not that difficult to make. Yeah, that would totally make sense. Because you do have this whole section right here. Um, but I know a lot of people are also really hoping for the day that we get closer to the East Coast. And Texas kind of fits that, right? Because it's so darn big. Um, and there's just so much to see. Texas is just going to be such a monster of a state. Um, both in terms of size, of course, but also in terms of the content, the type of content that it has. So there we go. Okay, so we got that. Let's Yeah, let's first do everything else. Okay, because I might still be moving things around. Okay, I don't like how wide that is. Let's see what I could do. Let's work the old magic. Grab this whole thing. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm. And then this is probably going to be a little screwy. Oh, yeah. Okay. How's... Could be a little lower. Yeah, because we don't need it unnecessarily higher. There we go. Okay, that works good. I like to keep things as straight as possible when applicable. So, that's why sometimes I don't like working off of, like, you know, other things that are already made, but kind of makes sense for this. Okay, that's the other side, though. Yeah, this side does make sense for it to be like that. Um, and we can make the slip lane on there, but where's the slip lane? It's, so it's coming from, yeah, but I don't want to make it unnecessarily complicated. It, I think we're got, we're okay. And that was this side, right? So now this one we could do, Ooh. And then maybe start turning it. That works. Okay, so hold on. We ain't done yet. And maybe make this the same height. Oh, is this pitched? It is. I don't like that. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, so maybe make this literally the same height as over here. Because this is supposed to be flat, right? Yes, that's perfect. Now, it's going to mess up some of these things, but again, I'm okay with that. We'll, we'll put them back in later. Okay, that works. Then, yeah, that's okay. Now, okay, so how does that work? It works good because this isn't as low as that, and this ramp is kind of long, so honestly, I think it's okay. Um, just maybe this bends. Ooh. 
This maybe bends a little too much. It's unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Flight says, is the green traffic box your guy's custom model or the SES? SES. SES made it. You're talking about imagine this thing, right? Yeah, that is SES work. Okay, how's that look? Yeah, that looks okay. Let's bring this up a little bit more. Right here we put on the little right line, which I think would be, I forget which one it is. A what? There. Uh, let me drink a little bit of water, excuse me, a little bit. All right. Flight says, I would love to see that in more scenes. Um, I think they have it on a lot of their intersections, actually. If anything, we're probably the ones that need to put it everywhere. No, I admit, dude, we don't have enough of it. Of it. Uh, maybe I should want to equalize this as well. Oh. Is this still crooked? Sure is. Let's fix that. Okay, that's good. Then maybe that's when we're, we'll equalize this one. And let me see if it works. If not, I'll go ahead and make the... Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that that's actually kind of weird. No matter. There is an easier way to do it. Now that I have it completely flat... You could just grab everything and just do that and just lower it a little bit like that. So how's that look? It works. This part looks a little weird, but because the shoulder actually gets wider. But maybe it could get a little lower. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Uh, Flight says, oh, really? I uh, guess I don't pay attention. The scenes can get busy and it blends in. Well, never mind if they already have it. I'm, I'm not 100% certain, but I believe they do. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I'll just put it that way. Okay, that's good. Then this part. Now, this ramp is so long just because you can't put these on, on the curbs, unfortunately. Because really, I think this exit should be coming around somewhere here. But you can't put the prefab there. I think maybe SES needs um, needs one of these, but like to turn a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so now... Here, let me go on to the, the top-down view. See how my turns look. Which am I? Oh, I'm doing this one. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I want to make sure this looks okay. That's a little too high. Yeah, because I we made this much lower than it already was. So let's grab this. I mean, it could just, we could just do this. Okay, let's try it like that. Okay, that works. That works marvelous, marvelously. Excellent. Okay, and there's something here. What is there? I don't know. It's just probably just grass. Okay. 
All right, so there's this side. Let's go over to the other side. Now here, because this turns a little bit, well, I'm going to leave this as it is and just work with what we have here. It's a little wide, but that's cool. Yeah, because otherwise... Yeah, there's not much I can work with here. Because the third thing I would think is just to grab all this and make it more like, like that, but... that works okay we could do that okay so now grab this that's the height oh I thought this was supposed to be pitch zero then here zero zero and there we go so these will have to raise up a little bit There's more boxes right here, by the way, Flight. All little traffic control stuff. Alright, uh, give me a second. Gotta change this up. Um, we'll put on this. Cool. Now, nobody could hear Imagine the Music, right? Um, if you can hear the music in the background, let me know. Um, I kind of wish you would be able to, just in case you like it. But I'm not supposed to be, just in case, you know... I'm not monetizing the video, but... It, I know they the record labels still get a little... Not very happy when people put music on. So, I just wanted to put some music on, just so... Um, oh, it's because... It's, it's, there we go. Okay, cool. You know why I don't want to put music on. <laughs> I don't want the video to go down. Okay, so that looks that looks okay. That looks good. Yes. Okay. So now this one. How does that look? It goes down a little bit, and then okay, because it has to it has to bend to go back up. So this is fine. How does it look from top down? Maybe this could be a little more that let's try that okay that fits and then this yeah it actually fits to have a little bit of a roll oh no opposite roll though yeah that looks a little better never mind about these bushes we'll fix that later Okay, cool. How about this? Ah, this I have no problems with. This is perfect. I mean, it's so big, there's no point in making it exact anyway. It looks good. Is that maybe a little too much of a roll? How much is this? Four. Yeah, it's a little too much. Let's just keep it at four. Usually don't like going over four for freeways and such. That's good. Actually, Mantrid over from... No, not Mantrid. What's it Mantrid? I forget his name. One that works for Pro Mods, or, well, does stuff for Pro Mods. He did, he did a lot of good videos, and I remember those were the the first... Um, pretty much what I, what I used to learn a lot of this stuff, and he talked a little bit about it. Those were good videos. Mm, okay, so this is good. Don't worry too much about this. We'll, we'll cover that in a little later part. I just want to make sure the actual road is good. And then this isn't going to be drivable, I think, right? Yeah, no. Okay. What even is out there? Oh. So it just continues along the freeway, but I don't want to do that. So I think it's good. Okay. You could give yourself a ton of liberties with this kind of stuff. Don't... Don't sweat it too much if it's not exactly how it is in real life. Um, I know SDS doesn't, and part of it is just because it, no, it's all scaled. All right, so now we're going to start with the terrain a little bit, at least on the interior of the highway. So this is the left side. It's a little long plane. No, I want it down. Because this is a little long, I could probably get away with doing this. Is that 40? Is that really 40? Oh yeah, I guess it is. 
Okay. And then the reason it isn't, it's not getting flat there is because of this part. Can we fix that? I believe we can. So it's this one. Why is that so low, Polly? Um, no. What am I missing? Well, anyway, I don't really want that on there, though, so I think it's like this. Is that what I wanted? I'm thinking. What's this? What changes the textures? Oh, texture rotation. Okay, that's fine. Why is it so low poly? Was this supposed to be like that? Yeah, I don't see any other option. Okay. So... I don't want it to have that overlapping detail there. Okay. Uh, we could come back to it, um, I mean, at one point anyway, so that's fine. Okay, 0.5. Um, how's that look? Because I kind of want it to go all the way down. So, 60, 80. Ooh, trees. I don't want trees. None. Yeah, for now, that's fine. Okay. That's about okay. Okay, now, now we'll do the same treatment to this one. So, down 0. 0.5. Okay. And then this one, something similar. So down 0. 0.5. Uh oh. Yeah, that's fine. And with those being so long, now these don't need to be that long. But hold on, let me just fix this this one as well. Get it to go down. Oh, but I'm gonna need to do this. Oh, my my system's lagging a little bit. Now we could do this one. Something like that. And this one as well. Yeah, this is the tedious part. This is a part nobody likes. Well, I think nobody likes doing it. Somebody likes doing this stuff. I, I mean, do you want to help me? <laughs> I'll take the help. Okay, this one, oh, oh, oh. This one could probably be 70, yeah. Ooh, how does that work? Yeah, maybe make this one. Yeah, that's better. Okay. That looks about right. Then this one, you also want to get it down. You know what? Let's grab all of these. Does that work? Because I want them all to be down. Down, what is it, one? Let this... 
would have also done it. Okay, that doesn't work. Yeah, because this one, for example, there's no terrain here, but this also affects um, what, like the way the terrain bends. Oh, but it, of course it's not going to bend because it's this. That's true. Okay, so then this one down, down, and okay, so it needs to go down even further. Eblem says, save your progress. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Give me a second. I will. You're right. Because then it, it, the editor could crash the desktop and we'll be crying. Yeah, that's good. Let's save this. Okay, you're absolutely right. And let's, uh, let's see if anyone is caught on to this one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, yeah, if SES thinks they want to keep things secret from us, yeah, that's uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Eblem says, or powder out power outage, lap overheating. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's true. In Mexico, it wasn't that c common, but it was more common than it is here. Unless you live in California. Jesus, so they're going through some serious stuff with the whole wildfires going on over there. It's it's nuts. And last year, there was a big um, controversy over that because of uh, it was found that a lot of the, the causes for those fires were um, problems with the uh, high-tension power lines. So now what they've kind of resorted to doing is... Whenever, whenever the winds pick up and it, the the conditions are extremely dry, uh, they'll turn off the power for you know a certain amount of time, just to keep safe from any fires. Of course, that hasn't stopped the fires. Now California is completely going, being ravaged by fires in a couple of different places, but it's it's what they're going through right now. Okay, that one's okay. So here, you might notice that this isn't perfect. You just press V on the keyboard and you get the little vertex, vertex and you bring it down. And this one, there it is. That works. Oh, maybe, well. Same thing here. There we go. Good. And uh, let's let me go back to this. What do I want? Yeah, whatever. Okay. So let's go on to this side. This one, I guess we could do down 0.5 as well. That would work. And make this like 80. Oh, no, not, not this. No, actually, yeah, I could probably keep it down like that. Okay. Let's see, that works more or less. So this part right here looks like it's going back up. Again, that's because of this one. So we want to bring this to go to, to be the same. So down... Point five. Then this, I'm not too worried about making this smaller. I got ways to fix that. Okay, and that's about right. Cool. And this one is uh, 1.5. Okay, now this one. No, this side. Sixteen. Ooh, that's not the one we want. We want bridge, bridge gravel. That works great. There we go. 
Um, on this side, what do I want to do on this side? Skill says, hi, excellent work. Thank you very much, Skill. Appreciate it. Then over here, again, down 0.5. And this one we increased to, I don't know, that's 50 work? Oh, that's way too much. 30. Okay, cool. Okay, so that works. Um, this side, oh, we're probably gonna have to make that a little bigger. Can we? No, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So then this one will wanna, or instead of making it bigger, sometimes what you could do, if it's just a little bit, little piece right there, instead of adding more polygons to the whole thing, um, you could just grab these. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Something like that. And just elongate these. And there we go. Problem solved. And that way you're not adding ec extra polygons to the map. Like it's just a little piece there. And then here, of course, we'll delete some of the, the polygons there, but we'll get there. Okay, so that's fine. This one, okay, whatever. Then here, what is, how is this? Down 0.5, no, not 0.5. Uh, 0.5. This one, oh, this is a long boy. And 0.5. That works. Now, of course, this one will have to be longer, though. So let's grab this one and, I don't know, make it 150. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This one as well, unfortunately, 100, 160. Yeah. Oh. Wrong one, wrong one. There we go. Uh oh, that's weird. Why is it doing that? Okay, so then I'll just make it longer. So, 160. Let's try that. Yeah, it looks good. That's not bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, that one's okay, this is okay, this side is good. Okay, so mostly have it covered. This one's got to be longer, though. Maybe I'll do that in a bit. And it's, um, I think it's this one, 30? Well, both of them have to be 30 anyway, so. There. Good job. And like I said, we'll figure this out in a bit. Okay. So what are we going to do about the rest of this? Honestly, I'm going to I'm going to leave that to Evelyn. <laughs> he he did tell me later uh, um a couple of days ago like, "Hey, you know what? The actual town like I'll take care of it a little later, but I mean, I'm just doing the freeway stuff right now. It's what I know best, I think. I think not even I believe it sometimes. Okay. Then this side. Okay, well, this one should be bridge gravel. Okay, which one is this one? Oh, that's that part. Okay, no, I'm going to leave. That's th this down here. Then this one. You sure? Oh, this one is the one that's over here, so... Maybe extend it like that for now. Maybe I'll do the rest of the town later. I don't know. We'll see. Then this one is this shorter one. So maybe 10. Nah, it could be a little shorter. Um, nine. Oh. 
Oh, I put 19. So what I want to do here, though, make it a little look a little lower, so like that. Just so that there's an actual culvert or something there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Ah. Cool. Maybe a little too low, though. But oh well, I'll, I'll, this one's okay. Over there, over there, it might need a little, uh, not not being so deep. Then these. This is where we grab the left one. Make it nine. There we go. Okay. That works. And then here's where you can tell if these are perfect or more or less perfect at least. Yeah, they look to be pretty good. Aiden asks, about elevation, can you use the Google elevation data for elevation nodes in the editor? Automatically, no. But, I mean, you can... Uh, where do I have it? Right here. Uh, you can, I mean, use whatever you find on this um, and, and just kind of port that over here. But because the map is, is scaled, you don't really want to do... Oh, wrong button. You don't really want to do that. You, you kind of have to... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you kind of have to improvise based on the interchanges and stuff you're doing. Excuse me a little bit. I'm going to drink a little more water. Okay. Yeah, so it, it wouldn't work out very well. The map is scaled, and that just makes things a little more complicated. Okay, actually... Before I work that out, what am I going to do here? I think figuring out what I'm going to do there is more important at first. So. Okay. <clears throat> is there... Oh. Is there no road? Well, no, it's just a dirt path of sorts. So that's all it's going to let me go out? Yeah. Okay. Somebody didn't like Google catching their little house there. And I don't see anything. Okay. Nothing much. I'm not very good with these kind of details, but I want to do it. Maybe there's a first time to learn everything, right? Okay, but then the, the brither, river braid or no, it's just one river. It's just there's a lot of twists and turns to it. Um, how can I do that? This one is already there. Is this the one that we want to use for this? Yeah, it's the Oregon one. 50. Is there a smaller one? Because I feel it's too thick. I guess that could work. <sighs> Excuse me. Maybe the brace should start somewhere there. How about this one? Same thing over here. Now, there are not two bridges. Well, actually, no, there are. Okay, but that one's a little different. Do I want to recreate that little detail? Because then... Oh man, what is wrong with me? I've had two nights in a row where I've been sleeping way later than usual, though. And that could be it. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay, now this looks completely different to the other image. This is in June. Now, here's a little important detail that I think a lot of people have to think about when making maps. Since there are no seasons in in the game, 
At least not yet. Um, I think pretty much the entire map is made to reflect the summer. Um, so when these sh shots were taken, I think is always important. Um, this is in June, during, close to the summer. The river is more full than it is here. No, I got it. I, I think I want to kind of do it. And then this is August, a little after the summer. So could it be that during the, the summer it dries up? It could very well be. It would actually be easier if we did it with more water. I could tell you that right off the bat. Dang, it actually gets a lot of water. <laughs> That's a little scary. For the folk living there. And then the reason why I'm a little concerned about it is this. What? what? Let's see. Down one. I could probably get away with doing down two. I think it would be better, actually. Down two. Yeah, increase that. What do we have here? Down. You got to make sure it's the same. Down 1.5, so I want it two. So then this one could be down two as well. Now I could probably do this. Yeah, that works. Okay. And that just gives a little more space for the actual river. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I guess we do want to do the little, little fork there. So we would need to do it like that. That one's longer. Okay, that fits. But then my my little island in the middle is going to be too small. Is it because it bends? Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Hey, Eblem, what do you think? Um, should we try to keep it simple here? Or should we try to make it as it is in real life? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Because if we want to make it as it is in real life... I mean, these houses aren't here, right? Um, and then there's this other bridge that crosses over the train tracks. Well, this, you know, it just crosses the train tracks. Um, I mean, it'll work well either way. Um, but I, I think it just comes down to how much effort we want to put onto this part. Right? What do you think? What are your thoughts? So, and I'm sure anyone that's watching this is probably like, dude, you need to put all the effort into it. You, gotta, you know, you got to do it as it is in real life. But at the same time, well, people are excited and want product. <laughs> yeah, see, flight, flight's ain't simple. Don't make it harder on yourself. That's true. I could always do that. I mean, it's not that much of a complicated, I mean, not that much of a, but closely near. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to, del well, not delete, but like not do that little island there. We're going to keep it a little simple. Probably just do it like, oh. Okay. All right. Okay, so I, we're going to keep it simple then. We're not going to complicate ourselves too much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so bridge. Um, wh what did they use? I don't think we really have a good one for that. I could do. I could just keep it simple and do that. Uh, just. Um, oh, I know exactly which one we could use. 
one of the Arizona ones would work here pretty pretty well. Yeah, I think so too. Flight. We need to go. To, we need to get to Mexico. That's part of why I was, you know, I sometimes don't want to do that much because <laughs> it's like we gotta get this thing done. Uh, okay, so we're not gonna have a good one for that. We're gonna have to make it a little more custom. What's this? Bridge simple. Have you ever seen this thing? Yeah, I've seen this thing before. I don't know how to use it though. Which one's this one? Ah, uh, yes. Um, we're gonna want to use one one bridge US one one. Is it one 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 actually? Yeah, that works. And then here we go to the railings. Five, six, seven. I forget the width of these. Point five, point six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, eight. Point one. Okay, so it's eight. And then over here as well. And how's it look down here? Perfect. Uh oh. Actually, what the heck is that? Oh, this is uh for no, I just want it to be the that one. There we go. So, and that's how you get your bridge to work. Now, is it that style? Eh, kind of. This one kind of works with that. I don't know if we have something similar to this. I don't think so. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I was going to go over here. Oh. Oh, yeah. I know what I could use here. Oh, crap. Wrong node. God, why is it taking so long? So... Let me see. MX. Did he do the one, for the white one? Oh, he didn't. Oh, that sucks. But it actually looks pretty good here. I like that. So this is a little model we did for Mexico, actually. How do you like that? Yeah, that looks pretty good here. I like it. We'll keep it. Okay. Onwards to adventure. Mm. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want right here. And we could actually use the same one here. Yeah, that totally fits well. I just want this bridge to be shorter, though. Yeah, that works. Aiden says, also, I was messing around the editor. The red node, the node that you can't connect anything to, didn't let me finish my road loop. Oh, yeah, you got to be very careful with those sometimes. Definitely. Yeah, we'll make this one wider, because it, it kind of is wider in, in real life. Okay, that looks good. Mm, okay, whatever. And, uh... I could just make it simple and just make the river look deep. I mean, like, well, like, head it, like it does here. But I don't think that's how it is most of the time. 
Oh, well, it is here. Oh, but this was in June as well. So the same time that they took the, the pictures down here. You know, we could just do that. Just keep it interesting. Yeah. Okay, but... Let's see. Okay, so now I don't quite like how this is right now. We'll want to redo that a little bit. Oh, because I did post a... Here, let me save. Because I did post something over on, the, on another forum. I just want to see if anyone asks anything there. Just in case. Oh, sl okay, flight. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What? Oh. Yeah. Well, the Four Corners is nothing special in real life, by the way. But I know what you're trying to get to with this, for sure. I agree, by the way. Okay. So, darn, I'm no good at this. You guys are quickly noticing that I am not that good when it comes to, like, landscape and stuff. I know what I'm doing, but... But since I don't have that much experience with it, it it's not something that I would consider myself to be good at. Um, well, I guess that's why he did this one. Well, here, well, I'm going to put it there for now. Hold on. We'll, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, whatever. For now, for now. Okay, then... Oh. Uh-uh. Okay, then we'll just do it like this. Okay. Whatever. Now this is where we... Oh. Do that. Are you sure, Evelyn, you want to do it? Because if you want to do it, then, I mean, my job is almost done here. <laughs> and I should just probably move on to, to Sacramento. Oh. I could do it. I have no problem with it. Part of me was like, yeah, it would be actually kind of cool to do it myself. For once. It's just that because I'm not as experienced as you at it, uh, it just takes me a little longer, right? Okay. Yeah, I guess if you keep saying that, I guess so. All right, so in that case, I'm going to put the... I'm going to keep putting the road stuff on. You just work with what I have, more or less. I think I want this one. Is this the one that I want? Yes. the side. Oh, it's there one. Oops. Well, 25.3. Then we want this to be wider. Is there a better option for this one? Yes, there is. Perfect, that fits. 
so more or less you can Evelyn make it like you know longer maybe do oh no not that like that we could do that that's not a problem you could you could mess around with that but not the width the like the the width that's already perfect we bring this over here Let's see 155 26 okay and then we do the same wait what was it 155.26, so uh, plus 180, oh, no, 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 what was it? So if you have 155.26 minus 180, that gives just 24.74. There we go. Well, you can move. You can move this a little later. I'm just leaving it pretty much prepared for you later. There. Okay. So, okay. Then we come over here, and because this is rotated differently, we could just grab this and apply it here. There we go. And that way, everything is straight. Okay, so there's that. Here, here, what are we going to do? Okay, why are these a little different? Ah, because this thing is different, that's why. So down is 0.5, maybe just keep it at 0.1, just to, oh. No, I think it's actually there, we're down 0.5. Huh. Oh, it's probably because of this bridge. But I thought I made them the same. Down. Oh, one. No, I want 0.5 as well. Yeah, that one's fine. And see, now that levels out pretty much evenly. We might just want to make these a little smaller, though. No need in making them that big. Um, 10. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Okay, so with that, um, how should I do this? They're they're slightly red in real life. Um, I did something similar to this in, in Reno. I, could, I guess I could apply the same tactic. So, we're going to do this little detail down here. Eblem, this is something I want to teach you. Um, I learned not too long ago, so watch out. So we're going to bring up a, a terrain... And we're just going to do it right here. Something, something like this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we have this ugly terrain. Maybe we might just want to paint it. Or something. Make it look a little different. Here. I want to use. Is it this one? I want to use one that could almost look like if it were like a reddish concrete. like that mm. yeah that works for now and then it works sometimes it isn't perfect you grab this and you kind of look for a place where it just snaps and look at that perfect absolute perfection And you remove all the guesswork. Beautiful. Now these, we just make them perpendicular to this, which is, I mean, you don't have to be this perfect with this one, but I guess you could do, uh, well, I don't remember the exact way. So just, uh, just grab these two. Ah, free rotation and rotate them to be more or less perpendicular like so grab these two
and bring him down like that. And that more or less works. More or less. Maybe we... For, for only one bridge, it works like this. But maybe for this, I might want to do it like that. Yeah, that might look a little better. And then this got a little screwy because of this. What is what is it here? Point 1.5. What is this? I might want to equalize it. 1.5. Oh. It's already 1.5. What gives in? Huh. One point five two. I wonder why this extrudes so much then. Oh well there's another one right here, dummy. But this one is at one point five two. Now that's not changing anything. Okay, that works. I don't know how that made it different, but okay, that works. I'll, I won't question it. And then these, I know exactly why this does this. I mean, it just connects to the textures of the road where you connected it. That's why it does that, so. But I want it to be like this. Maybe, maybe bring these down a little more. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And then here... Hmm. Yeah, maybe this technique didn't work perfectly for this. For what I wanted to do, at least. It's a great technique for some some situations, but not for everything, as we're clearly noticing here. But I don't feel like deleting it now. So, well, in that case, maybe you should just go with this. Ooh. There. And there. And then here, just, I don't know, five, six, seven. And what texture is this? Oh. oh, darn it. Oh, what you could do. That's fine. That works. And then just no detail vegetation. There. And then here, we just grab these down here and bring them flush. Nice. And now there's no holes, no nothing, nothing but perfect. Well, almost perfection. Nothing but close to perfection. Close enough. Oh, darn it. Perfection achieved. 
All right, cool. And that's how you do that. Hope you learned something new. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe just um, might still need a, a bridge abutment though. I wish they you could paint it red. They need to make, they need to make color bit. That wasn't there either. Where did that come from? Does anybody recognize this in real life? I don't. It doesn't have a name either. See, these really need color variants. So you could place them anywhere. I like it though. But see, if they had a red one, it'd be great for the desert southwest. Okay, let's bring this back to bridge. See, we're just finding new things here together. All right, so back to these. So I want to use this one. See, look, no. I really isn't one that has a color. Oh, brown. Ah, awesome, there is. Where is it, Aiden? Do you know? Like, in the is it in the game somewhere? Might be missing something. Okay, that one's right. Well, Evelyn, I was able to change the variant, uh, the color variant of this model right here. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this is going to screw me over. There's a roll still on here. Gee, okay, no, not that much. It's still okay. Wait, what? Did it undo what I did? Wait, there's a redo button. Isn't there? Didn't they make a redo button? I thought they did make a redo button. Is it control R? No. How do you redo? I remember hearing there was a redo button now. Huh, okay. Well, this got really messed up. Very messed up. Why? Because I changed the rotation. Oh, you know what? They may have removed it. You know how they've had so many problems here and there. So they may have removed it. Darn it. This is why we got to be extra careful about these things. Now I have to redo the whole thing, damn it. Okay. Um, oh, so this all changed. When you have errors like this, there is a way to quickly re delete, well, redo these, these things. So you just hit the little X, that little X on each side, and that works. That will solve our issues. Oh. Uh, I might want to do the same thing here, just for precaution. Okay. So. Now we got to go back and do this. Is that one fine? Yeah, that's fine. Does that look good? Yes, it does. Okay, now we just gotta, wait, did that mess up too, or is that okay? Well, I can't even see it. 
Okay, so this... Well, I'm glad I opened it, though, because I found the roll that shouldn't be there. Okay. I want it to extrude a little bit, so I might need to make it longer. So 1.5 maybe? No, 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 not that one. 1.5. Yeah, that works. Oh, wrong button. There. Okay. And then these, I got to get the right texture again. Do I still have this selected? No, I do not. Darn, which one was it? Sometimes it's easier to just bring this up. So now it has it selected. And then you just select these again. And do that. Perfect. And here, I don't need these, these, uh, these trees here. Well, they're not they're not on on this little thing. They're on the on the roads. Um, here, watch. Mm, Why well, I don't want to move there. This thing's a little long, so. I... Or. You could, just do it like that. But it's not on that. Yeah, I don't think it's actually on that. Oh, no, it is. Okay. And then those trees, you just... Uh, just do, well, I have two things selected. There. Now, there's just a matter of this one, which I have no clue where it is. Oh, it's probably on this thing. Oh, I can't. Okay, there it is. Will that work? Oh, it sure will. Nice. Got rid of it. Okay. So now, this thing, copy it over here. And bring it more or less to where it is. Kind of like that. Yeah, that works. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, Evelyn says save. Yes, saving now. And drinking some water. <laughs> sure hope it doesn't go out. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wow, it's already 11.41. Oh, wait, well, I woke up a little late today. That's true. I don't usually, but it's been two days of fun late at night. <laughs> Had an awesome concert um, on Thursday. We want to go watch a band called Dream Theater. If anyone here has heard of them or likes them, shout out to you, man. I... It was the first time I went to go see them live, and they did really, really good. That was so much fun.
Um, oh, that's, yeah, I guess first I should probably do this, though. Down, down. I think it was two. Where is this? Uh, two. Yes, good. Okay, so same little trick here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Before we do anything, let's make sure these rolls and everything are okay. Good. Now we could connect. Connect the dots. Let's uh, grab these. Then we grab these. Make them both free rotation enabled. Okay, more or less. I'm not going to be too worried about this one because this one is a little farther out. Oh. Oh, maybe because the steps here aren't very big. That doesn't allow me to change it, though, does it? Oh, no, it does. There we go. That makes a big difference. So what that, that that does, like if you see, there's only one polygon here, and it, so it's a little weird. Uh, you grab this, re make more steps, and now you know there's it, it's a little smoother. So something like that. I'm not that much nine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, point one, point two. There we go. Oh, actually, I'm gonna leave that as the bridge texture, the the, the bridge gravel texture. Just, oops, just for now. Okay. And here. Where's the other one? There it is. Cool. How's that look? Excellent. Ooh. That's a little weird. What's going on here? Hmm. Can that solve it? Yeah, better. Cool. Okay. So, folks, if you're just joining here, I'm 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 sorry if it's a little boring sometimes. I mean, I got I do have to keep on working, so 
Um, <laughs> the more I talk, the less I, I do things. So I am just moving on ahead. But if you do have any questions, let me know. You're more than welcome to ask questions or learn something here. We're just trying to get this map released. Okay, how's that? Ooh, something's weird there. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, could you give me a quick second? I'm going to go get something done in like, you know, three seconds here. Well, maybe a minute or two. I'll, I'll be right back with you guys, all right? Thank you very much. Okay, sorry about the delay there. We're back. And let me sit back down. Alright, let's get this going. Okay, so back to where we were. More or less fixing. Now this, I don't like how this is a little... Small, can I actually, no, I cannot. No matter, it's easily fixable. Mm-hmm. Quick and easy. Probably the same thing here, yeah, a little bit. And with that, I could pull this one a little further further out something like that yeah do this side doesn't look as good there How, how's that look oh it's good it's good oh wrong button And okay, how's it look down here? Mm, could be a little more flush. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Can I edit this? Uh. Okay, that works. It's all right. Cool. Okay, so next up is bridge supports. 
So this one is using this one. There's one that we could use, I believe, that has that look. Bridge. Mm, no, not this one. Does it? Does it have? No. This one I believe does, but that doesn't work here. Oh no, it doesn't either. Okay. Hmm. You want to just use the Colorado one? <laughs> Okay. Well, we could use the original ones. Before SCS was making models like that, they were making them as signs. So you could bust out those. So I forget if they're called pillars on here. Yes, they are. So these are the ones that are actually made for this kind of bridge. But these, you can't change the color on them. Oh. And you see, it could probably go, get away with using this, but I don't like how it looks. Uh, Rich, Richard, Hungary map. Uh, no, this is the Sierra Nevada map for American Truck Simulator. Okay, so, I mean, that doesn't look bad. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look as great as I'd like it to. Because in real life, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, it's because it doesn't have those holes in the bottom. And to be to be honest, I don't know what bridge looks like this. <laughs> um, let's see. Because the right thing to do is to use something like this. Right? Let's see. But I don't like that. Like, it matches with the color, but it just doesn't look right. Which is why I don't like using those, those you know, older style SES models. Was, no, but, darn it, I don't know what to do with this. I wonder, let me select it. Oh, no, it is. And see, this will probably look right, but the colors don't match. Or, I mean, I might end up just going with this, to be honest. Let me try a little more. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one that lets you select different colors. So, yeah, you got this that matches. But again, this doesn't really work well for this. Or... Ah, oh, it doesn't either. Darn it, SES, come on. Huh. <sighs> But these are too pink. Yeah, way too pink. What, what kind of pillar is this? Huh. Well, I think we're just going to have to make it 
a little more normal, unfortunately, folks. Not much I could do. Does that fit? Here, let's just do this. Good. And then that could look a little bit like that. Yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, it doesn't look as it is in real life, but it looks realistic. Like, it's more believable from an engineering standpoint, at least. And I like engineering. I like it thing. Uh, I like it when things look good. Look real. Here, let's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, at the very beginning. That fits. So then what I'm going to do is just follow, like, more or less, like, one, two, three. So then this should be more or less around here. One, two, three. Uh, Aiden asks, how did you guys make those massive interchanges? Blender? No, just doing a ton of this. <laughs> just doing a ton of this. Nothing special. One, two, three. One, two, three, right here. Another one right there. I'm not worrying about its exact position right now, just more like lengthwise. And then this one, oh man. I could just space them out a little evenly. So maybe do this. And I think that's exactly what I needed. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. So now we go ahead and make sure that these fit at the bottom. Like they're more or less centered. Okay, good. How's that look, guys? You you guys think this is a a, oh, a good model for for the pillars? Because I could just change the ones that are already placed here, and, and I won't have to go space them out again. There we go. And so for the other side, we'll keep it a little more simple. Oh. How's that look? Yeah, that's about right. All right, I'll probably have to space them out a little manually here, but that's fine. Flight says he sees no issues. Aiden agrees. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's move on. Uh, Eblem says, have you tried using the Arizona models? Uh, I did try it, but I did not like how they looked uh, because of this bottom right here. Like, it does not make sense, um, like, how it looks structurally. Because, like, yeah, the color matches, but structurally, it looks like crap. Sorry, SES. I think you guys could have done a little better with that one. <laughs> because in order for that to work... Like, um, here. It would be these right here. Check it out, Eblem. So, like, structurally, that looks a little weird. Which is why I don't like it. 
Oh. It's like if you could just imagine like the the whole weight of this structure just falling on this. I, I it would look weird, right? But if the bridge was like um for example I think it would need to be this. Then it would fit. So that works, right? That looks good. And as a matter of fact, that's kind of how this bottom is. It's a flat bottom. But it's too... Th I don't know. It just... The bridge model looks too thick. Like this this right here. I don't, I don't like how that looks. And the thicker that part is, the more spaced out your, your supports should be as well. And this is just not the kind of bridge. So that's why I'm, I'm just stretching the truth a little bit. Oh. Oops. I went a little too far. There we go. And we'll just keep it like that. So again, it's not as it is in real life, but structurally it fits. So, unless you live in Winnemucca or have been there and pay a ton of attention, you're going to think it looks good. I think that's more important, personally, at this point. Unless we could make our own models for this, I mean, I think this is the next best option. So, we'll just go with that. Cool. Ooh, what's, uh, what's this? You see what I'm talking about, right? Uh, it's a green one. Yeah, I don't need that. I wonder why that's there. Okay. So, what's next? Um, we can start putting some more signs and barriers. Yeah, that would work. Um, these may be emblem. We'll need to make them a little, like, farther from the road, I think. Um, I'll leave them there for now, though. Okay, that's correct. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we should save. Oh, we save. I'm drinking some water. All right. So for those of you just joining us, because I see we went from 9 viewers to 13, uh, this is the Sierra Nevada map mod for American Truck Simulator. We're currently working on the map editor, just, you know, working here in the town of Winnemucca in Nevada. Um, one of the last remaining places to work on on this map before the initial release. So, um, you know, just we're following along whatever, whatever I'm doing. It's not a very exciting video, but if you want to learn a little bit about the map editor or just curious how the process works, stay tuned. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll stop and, you know, explain a little bit of what I'm doing, right? All right. So should I first do... No, let's go ahead and do some, some barrier work here. Just make sure this looks good, but I think it does. So... This side is done, so I guess we'll start from here. Barriers. I guess I can start from here. So the for, for the crash barriers, I like using the new curve models that SES did. These right here. Freaking fantastic. Don't worry about the it, uh, about that how that looks. So we'll get that done in a bit. And let me bring out the little properties. And I'm going to select all of this because I'm going to first get the node, apply free notation, and now we open the properties with the P key. Um, I think that looks okay. Oh, invert geometry. And over here we want this, this little wide part. And over here we want it to be this flat thing. So that that works. Good. Okay, that looks... I'm going to be able to fix this little bending part here. 
Aiden asks, is there a measuring tool for measuring distances? Yes, there is. So this little thing right up here, it's the ruler. You select that. So you got the crosshairs and look down here where it says distance. So you see that moving? If I click it, there it saves it. And now you keep on going. See? So yes, there is. Good question. Okay, then this one, do I need a barrier here? Yeah, I think it would be safe to have a barrier. So we'll start it right around there. Actually, we could, and it's a it's a wise idea to put these like right where these nodes are, because then you could just copy the node pro, um, rotations, and it's way easier to get this to work correctly. Okay, so here we'll start with the flat, and then over here we could just start with here I'll, with the uh, bend, which the bend is that thing. Then we invert. And here's what I mean by copying the, the rotation. So you, you get this, you have all this, you copy the rotation, grab this, free rotation, and just paste. And there we go. Nice and easy. Same thing here. Copy this. Paste. Oh, well, you got to hit free rotation first. There you go. Aiden says, okay, cool. I can place down mileage markers realistically. Uh, yeah, uh, you could do that. I think, uh, unless you're doing a one-to-one -one map, though, I mean, I don't, I think that's a little too, too much work, in my opinion. What you could do is place mileage markers every 10 miles. So, like, they'll say mile 10, mile 20, mile 30, and just place them every five miles. Sorry, every, every, um... Every half mile within the, the the map, so every half mile would be 10 mile a 10 mile mile post, based on the 1 to 20 scale. So it kind of just begs the question: What's um, what map are you doing, Aiden? <laughs> Designer favorito. Um, Left a great little message there. Great one. I love that message. Um, it got it got held back, and then he deleted it because it's basically saying, "Hey," and with a bad word, basically saying, "Hey, make the ma map of Mexico." Um, yes, haremos el mapa. Seguiremos con el mapa de México después de terminar este de Sierra Nevada con Chihuahua. And I was when I see no, no se pasen cabrones. All right, so that that looks good. That was funny. That was funny. Me, me hiciste reír, designer. Te, te lo pongo así. Me hiciste reír, la neta. Está bien, está bien. Se entiende. Okay, so now that we got the white ones, uh, we'll just put the yellow one. The yellow ones always go on the left side, and I think here we should be able to put it something like this, like over here. Yeah, that, I could put it like right here. So just matching this node right here. And put another one right here. And the last one right around here. Okay. So now I'm grabbing this one. And I grab these two nodes together. Free rotation. And there we go. Here, same thing here. Okay, and now we could go ahead and grab the properties. And apply the wide one, and then over here the flat one. And I'm not really paying attention to how this is in real life. I'm kind of just basing myself on what would be safe in real life. Thinking like an engineer. I think it's the best way to do this. 
Don't want to flip over. Uh, okay, so it'd be with this one. There we go. Perfect. Uh, this extrudes a little too much. Let's put it a little more to the right. There we go. Cool. Uh, what's next? Because I did all the barriers here. I think I did. I don't really need this one because, again, you're coming off on this side. It's not like you could crash head on here anyway. So I wouldn't worry about that. Then since we have the river right here, I'm going to go ahead and start the berry here. But Nevada does this sometimes a little interesting. I want to see how they did it here. Okay, so now they're just using the normal barriers. Well, they're using these, they call these thry beams. Uh, we have these in, in our Mexico map, but I kind of want to keep using the ones from SES now. I really wish SES do, d does those someday. They need to. Uh, Aiden asked what menu was that when you remove the vegetation. Okay, so you press the B button on the keyboard and it brings up the select brush option. So let me go to somewhere a little more basic. How about, how about here? So the default option is this material one. You could grab any old material from here and you, you know, you, you basically paint over surfaces. You could also paint over colors, like make, kind of change the color of how this looks. Um, depends. Oh, does it even let me select it? Yeah, see, so it makes it a little more yellow. Uh, no detail vegetation does exactly what it says. It removes the little extruding b bushes there. But these are not detail vegetation from the terrain. Those are actual like vegetation that you add on with the properties menu. So to remove those, you select no vegetation and there you get rid of those. This makes it so that there's low poly vegetation. So, so you could force it or you could also force high poly vegetation, but this already has high poly vegetation. And lastly, you could do quad erase, which does exactly what it says. Careful with that though, because you'd have to like outright delete all the extra options or brushes brushes that you use in order to recover that. So there you go. That's how you do all the fine detailing. Very useful. Okay, this. Oh, I know what he did here. That's not that. Is. Oh, I guess I'll just leave it there. Okay, back to this. I guess I'll just put it right here. Okay. We'll apply a free rotation on these. Now, this one I will need a high poly one, unfortunately. I know I will. Why? Uh, why? Because of this part. And there we go. That works. That works too. Then here we just copy this one. And, and we just move this one up like that. Perfect. Looks good. Does it though? Yeah, it does. Okay. And the reason I did that one so long is just because you have the river down here. So I just want to cover that up. Here... I guess we can a little bit. Yeah, why not? Maybe up to like right here. Oh, wait. Just, just copy this one. 
Yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into making this as as good as it is, unfortunately. That's why good maps take their time. And of course, SCS just has much more manpower than we do. Perfect. Looks good. Here, I'm not going to bother. That one's fine. But, ooh. I might need to be longer. Did you see the little gap down there? That's what we're going to fix. There. Uh, I see. And then here, we're going to go ahead and back to the yellow one, because it's on the left. And that should work. Okay. I'm going to put, uh, no, not super fine, just high poly. Wide flat. Aiden says, and SES can make code whatever they want. Well, they can, but you also got to think about, you know, the economics, right? Because every, everything that they put one of their coders or, or um, you know, asset creators do is money, right? Because it's, they got to pay them and they got to think of, you know, what's, what's more useful for them to be spending time on. So it's not as simple as, oh, just make this, whatever. Um Part of the reason, for example, why they maybe have not made like specific models for every little road detail, just because they might think like, okay, well, does that really give me any benefit, like to want to spend the extra money to do so? You really got to think of all those little details when you're running a business. It's so much more complicated. And I think it's what a lot of people sometimes don't think of when they're talking ill of, you know, whatever a game developer does. Except when we're talking about, you know, microtransactions and stuff like that. Now, that's a different story. That that pisses me off. <laughs> no, nah, the, the way SDS does their DLCs, they could keep doing that all they want. I'll keep throwing my money at them. That's all good. Um, yeah, just don't pay them, right? <laughs> Easier said than done. Let's see. Cool. Um, okay, so... I say we take a little break from, from making those barriers, because it gets boring. Let's go on to other things. Oh, wrong one. 10. Yeah, I'm just going to do it like that for now. Okay, so what other things may you ask? Well, let's put the, the signs over here, shall we? So I'm just copying this one to see what I had put here. You know, I could just really just copy this. Plus, uh... You do kind of want to put signs before barriers. I kind of forgot about that. Just because in some cases you want these signs to be covered by these barriers, which here they are. So it's perfect. But now that I'm thinking about it, the way this works, like US-95 is this route right here. So if you're coming from that side, you'll want to get off over here to get to US-95. And if you're coming from over here, you'll want to get off over here. So there's no point of signing US-95 here, so maybe just... Let's see what they did in real life. Okay, so they just put one... Well, there's a 289, but I don't have that. So maybe just... Manamuka downtown. I mean, they're both going to say that. 
Well, here. Oh, wait. I, oh, give me one quick second, folk. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's bust out the signs. Let's see. I think this will work. Hold on. Ah, it doesn't have the second little line. Mm, Timothy, hey, good afternoon. How are you doing? Ah, they don't have that type of sign. Oh, man. Oh, well. I could just use this. Whatevs. One seventy eight. So there we go, do that. One oh five. Aha, uh -huh, that's fine. Let's see, and then here. So it, I guess it'll say Winamuka downtown. Down. Yeah, because the other one will say uh, uh, US ninety five. So we'll just leave that one as is. And then, oh no, well, I want to do that. So that works. So we'll just remove this. And just leave this one in place. Yeah, that looks alright. Sometimes I feel these are maybe a little too high. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. So Timothy says, good on my break from work. We'll have to look back for the rest of what you miss. Well, I mean, it's, it's progress is slow, um, unfortunately. <laughs> so, I mean, it's I think it's pretty cool when people join join when we're live. I mean, you know, get get to ask questions or just talk a little bit. And hell, if you want to talk about just, uh, you know, casual things, I'm cool talking about casual things, too. <laughs> it doesn't have to be about, ed about the editor. Um, or if you want to ask me about any other game, but... Um, but it's, it's glad you, I'm glad you were able to join at least a little bit. And hey, if you want to go ahead and take a look or just trying to learn some stuff on the editor, yeah, I mean, by, by all means, you're more than welcome to, to, oh shit, keep on watching, right? All right, so we go down here. Well, we could do this. Don't worry about that. We'll fix it. Winnemuka downtown. Half mile. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe. I mean, it's not quite a mile. It, it should say a mile, but this is honestly not that far. Here, let's find out. Let's use a little little ruler tool that we have here handy. Oh. So this exit is 787. Yeah, that's about a half a mile. Close to it. I think. I don't know. Let's see what, what Google says. Okay, Google. 787 meters to miles. Okay, 0.489 miles. So yeah, might as well be half a mile. And you know, I went as soon as I said the the okay thing to to the Google thing, <laughs> I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. If I'm gonna make people's phones go off. <laughs> So I guess now you guys know I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So this one. Ooh, what am I going to put on this one? Shoot. Now what? Let's see what they have here. 
Might say Winuka Boulevard. <laughs> They're going to say the same darn thing. But that actually makes sense, because when you're coming from the other side, you don't see this one anyway, so might as well. So I guess who cares? Okay, so Timothy's didn't. And we'll put this sign right here. Only difference is, instead of being one exit 178, it's exit 176. Uh, actually, ha having uh, the OK Google set up on your phone, well, at least in my experience... Oh, my phone went off. <laughs> having it activated, as to me, has been really good. Um, I have a car with, app uh, with, um, with Google CarPlay and Apple whatever they call it um so it's it's very convenient when you're driving very very convenient when you have something like spotify you know you're just driving and you like you just think oh let's play that one song so you just tell google to play the song and it'll put come on and you just find out we're living in the future truly are no more having those giant stacks of CDs like back in the day. Uh, I might want to add these. Uh, Timothy, but sometimes the TV or ads from YouTube can trigger. That, that's why, I, like, right when I said it, I was like, oh, I hope I didn't trigger people's phones. Because <laughs> my, yeah, like you said, like, my, my phone has been triggered for that, too, um, by, by YouTube videos and such. Uh, so, definitely. Okay, so that's fine. Now what? Okay, that doesn't matter. Oh, I got to add a reassurance shield. So wait, now that I'm seeing SES added even more of these, let me see. How does it look compared to ours? Vamos a ver. Because they did this. Uh, it's a little different. Oh, did they make this taller? No, they... Oh, they did make it taller. E, I like this so much more. Emblem, I'm, I'm, I'm using this now. <laughs> uh, they made it so much taller. Guys, I feel SCS is watching our videos. I feel watched now. So watched. Please continue watching. <laughs> I like it more because it's bigger. Um... And some of these uh, on the freeway should actually be bigger, so I'm okay with that. The only thing I don't like, but this is totally changeable, but I should save before I screw something up. Um, I should... Well, it's a font, so check this out. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, oh, they didn't make that one taller though. You could still see it's like kind of it's kind of floating there. Yeah, they probably are Aiden. I I wouldn't be surprised. Taking, <laughs> well, I mean it's a it's a difference that it makes when you're actually out here in the in the U S. You know, you know so much more things. And in my case, I mean I studied civil engineering and all that stuff. I, roads are something that I paid too much attention to. Too much. <laughs> um, okay, so normally these are using the project uh, sign project that SES made, and you can't really change font be between the one that they have. But for some reason, I know I could change this to mine, and now I could choose the ones that we have. So just um, just do that, and it works. And eh, maybe too much. And I should be going, this should be west, I think it is. If not, I'll change it in a bit. That's fine. 
Then here, this should be uh, font D is the correct one that they use in real life. And we'll make this, I don't know, six. Yeah, that works. Then here, they're also using font D in real life. There you go. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I like that more. Perfect. Thank you so much, SES. That looks better than Mars. Okay, so same thing here. We'll just apply it. And we do have to move this gizmo. They didn't move it themselves because they already have a lot of these around the map that are already fixed to whatever height they had it before. So I totally understand why they haven't changed it. Um, so, yeah. So, east. How about west? Oh. Cool. Let's read some of the comments. Flight says, I hope SES is watching. Sierra should at least get Evelyn hired. Raul, you have a job. I think Evelyn would be perfect to work on ATS. I, I agree so too. A absolutely. Though, yeah, I do have a job. But if they want some random sign work to be done, I'd, I'd, I'd work the weekends. <laughs> For sure. I need the extra money. Mm, I mean, maybe not as much, but but it never hurts see okay so that that's fine okay next up aiden says i'm really goof with highway infrastructure it's not for everyone ask for evelyn i mean ask evelyn he knows a ton now for so, so much he's been working on this and you know he also pays attention to it but but when you have someone like myself that pays so much attention to it everybody will think oh you know what you're doing but then i come and it's like no shit redo it <laughs> um if i was the Gordon Ramsay of um, of road infrastructure and like gaming projects. Oh man, that'd be great. I'd love to be paid for that. <laughs> okay, so don't again, don't worry too much about how ugly this looks. Um, we'll get to it eventually. All right, so what's next? Ah, uh, yes. What did I just see? Did I see something that I was interested in? No. Okay, everything's okay. Oof. Some of these are, are pretty cool. I like these. Like, I mean, the ones that SES has been doing has been great. I mean, I've, they've done a much, much better job, you know, with every release. Very, very good job. Uh, uh, Flight, they did want more signed people. And as a matter of fact, I did a, I did send a, a, um, a resume at one point. Um, of course, I did mention that I, I can't. I can't move over there. I got my own job here and everything. And for for whatever reason, I mean, I know out in in the Czech Republic they don't pay as as well as in other places. And you know, one of the things that I've been doing right now is just helping out my dad with a couple of things that he has going on. So I, I do need the money that my current job pays. <laughs> That's been part of the problem, I think. And they mentioned when we were out in in um, in Dallas that i'm just looking for a certain sign that they've had you know problems getting people that are not from the european union to go out there so that's also part of the reason why i guess they haven't hired uh, like for example someone like evelyn it could be that i don't know i don't know so let's see 176 this is also an ses sign by the way these are good these are a-okay you know what? I don't like this song. Uh, no. Nah. Yes. Okay, then we bring this one out over here. Seventy-eight. Okay, cool. Guys, I think we might end up end the uh, stream 
maybe in a couple minutes just because I am, I admit I'm getting hungry. I'm not a robot, I think. And, um, and I think food is calling. <laughs> so I think that might be, as a matter of fact, I think I should be doing that already because it already gets to the point where I need to go eat. <laughs> so before I do leave, though, if anyone has any questions that you want to just pop in there, I think I might just continue doing another stream after I come back. I mean, I'm getting work done, so why not, right? If you guys want me to keep on streaming, I will. If you don't, let me know. Um, but let me just see. Let me just give a couple minutes for people to put in any other question just in case. So, okay, here... Uh, uh, I remember what kind, but this bridge doesn't fit that kind of support. Let's find out what they did. So, okay, so see, that's the thing. So they have these kinds of like T supports, but because they're using a beam structure here, and this is this over here is pretty stress concrete. Um, it's a box girder. So I can't copy what they're doing. But this works well with the uh, Nevada, sorry, Arizona supports. Let's see, pillar. Um, okay, so maybe, maybe this would work well here. I think so. Oh, but they're a little thin though. Yeah, I don't like how thin these look. How about, how about you? Darn, they all look thin. I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeah, because they're all going to probably look the same. Oh, no, that one looks so much better. We'll use that. Much, much better. Okay, so we go here. Something like that. And that should work. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll put one in the middle and one over here. All right. Flight, thanks for streaming. I don't know the editor, so it's cool to see how it all works. Thank you very much. Uh, Aiden, sure, keep on streaming. Okay, I think I probably will. I mean... If nobody watches, then I'll kind of turn it off. But I, think, but I mean, we'll see. So maybe check back here in an hour or or two at most, and I'll probably be streaming again. And I will let you guys know on Discord as well. So thank you very much for watching, folk. Uh, appreciate the support and all the questions. It's I've found out that streaming is fun. I did not know it'd be fun. I've actually enjoyed it. Um. So thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.